All right, we're making charcoal for the garden because you can never have too much. And if we get to where we got enough for the garden, it gets used for water filter. Or it gets used on the grill. Pyrolysis is the name of the uh, process that we're doing right now. It's pretty simple. You just need a steel barrel or a vessel with one open end. You fill it with the wood of your choice. In this case, that's all hardwood in there right now. Sticks and twigs and stuff smashed in there. A little bit easier to crush up for your garden when they're that way. Then you flip it upside down and make sure that it's sealed like with sand. Put sand all around the bottom edge so no oxygen can get in and no gas can escape. And then you poke a hole at the top of the barrel, which is technically the bottom of the barrel, but you poke a hole so that way the gas can escape. So what's happening is the carbon's being, well, the life or the energy is being baked out of the, the wood, and then all that's left is the carbon-based material, which is the charcoal. And it has little honeycomb holes in it, microscopic, that hold on to nutrition. That's why it's a great base for your garden. But we let that bake for three, four hours. If you're not sure, you can take a flame and go to your hole that you got poked. You'll see the stuff smoking out of there. If it lights, it's still going. If it stops lighting, then chances are your barrel's done and you let it cool off and get at it the next day. This is an ideal setup for your wood so that way the whole barrel gets engulfed in flames. All right, so it's been a couple days since we were baking our uh, charcoal. I'm gonna lift the lid up. It gets all oily with this black stuff because that's like the creosol in the wood or the byproduct of the making charcoal itself. And we were successful. Charcoal all the way through. about 90% done. This type of stuff is great for cooking. So I'll have Deanna probably take the thicker pieces that didn't quite get all the way through and it's gonna make great cooking charcoal. All the littler stuff, charcoal. Twigs and stuff are the best if you're making biochar.